that our children receive even as we continue to fight against COVID-19. Let me conclude by taking this opportunity to congratulate Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we all agree that COVID-19 has... I want to thank you, Mr. Chairperson, for giving me the floor and... Security as part of the efforts... ...person for giving me the floor and let me take this very early opportunity to express my deep and sincere appreciation to His Excellency Cyril Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa and outgoing Chairperson of the African Union, for the commitment and selfless and focused leadership that you have exemplified as Chairperson of our Union. We in particular appreciate your guidance of the Bureau's business during this unprecedented period of COVID-19 pandemic. You have ably shepherded our continent to respond to the pandemic in a timely and indeed effective manner. Let me say that it has been a pleasure to work with you alongside the Bureau that is now retiring and Chairperson, I take this opportunity to thank you for the report of which we are fully aligned. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we all agree that COVID-19 has devastated our economies and greatly impeded development of our countries. As we await the distribution of vaccines with a hope to return to normalcy soon, it is imperative that we start also to strategize as to how to build a better and more resilient Africa post-COVID-19. On the 3rd of June 2020, I chaired the first extraordinary intersessional summit of the Organization of African and Caribbean and Pacific States under the theme transcending the COVID-19 pandemic building resilience through global solidarity, whose objective was to create a forum for dialogue among the OACPS countries and leaders on the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I therefore call upon us to build synergy with the OACPS and other like-minded organizations to ensure that our continent benefits from such partnerships. Let me conclude by taking this opportunity to congratulate you, Your Excellency Felix Tshisekedi, President of the Republic of Democratic Republic of Congo, and our new incoming Chairperson of the African Union, together with the new members of the Bureau of the Assembly, and I wish to express our full confidence in your solid leadership and ability to take our Union to greater heights, and I wish to assure you of Kenya's full support. I thank you all for your attention. Even as we continue to fight against COVID-19 and restore our economies and secure the future of our children, let us know that malaria remains amongst one of the greatest threats to the health of our children and all our citizens across the continent. As chair of the African Leaders Malaria Alliance, ALMA, I appreciate the unwavering leadership by AU member states towards the elimination of malaria by 2030. And indeed, 19 African countries are implementing the flagship campaign of Zero Malaria Starts With Me. I urge our members who have not yet launched the campaign to do so as soon as possible. You will all agree with me that our children receive the harshest brunt of this pandemic. The lockdowns resulted in significant losses of income for all our caregivers and all our people. And without a doubt, our children are the future of this continent. And we as leaders 
must guarantee a better tomorrow for them. We as leaders today must preserve and protect their well-being. It is against this backdrop that Kenya, in partnership with the United Kingdom, is co-hosting the Global Partnership for Education Finance Conference on the 25th and 26th of July, 2021. The aim is to raise approximately $5 billion to ensure that all children, particularly those in Africa and in other developing countries, have equitable access to quality education in the post-COVID period. I therefore invite you, fellow African Union heads of state and government, to partner with us in this effort to commit to protect our education budgets in our respective countries. We need to show up and hold our governments accountable in setting aside the adequate resources to ensure that our children, both girls and boys, and those in vulnerable situations can go back to school and complete their studies. Further, we need to invest more aggressively in improving education access and quality, including in investing teaching and learning technologies to bridge the education divide. Security as part of the efforts done with the formalities, chairperson of the AU. Thank you very much. Here is the flag. Thank you. for our Bureau, as well as our interconnectedness. The Commission always can be ready to learn a couple of things. I want to strongly find the predecessor. ...of handing over to the incoming excellencies we are meeting. In the fight against COVID 19 pandemic and in the prevention of other diseases. As chairperson of the African Union, chairperson of the African Union Commission, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to start it and continue to vaccinate people. To all of you, your excellencies. TKD President of the Democratic Republic of Congo and Chair of the African Union. Elisa, the Chairperson of our Union, and I wish you all the best. In domestic partnership, our paramount in the community, we also have you. The... She, Mujafakima Ahmad, the Chairperson of the African Union.